what is up what is good everybody today is not a good day for driving as you can see it's pouring so what we're going to do today is we're going to change the door speakers in this car uh they're absolutely terrible i think they're like 15 watts rms so when i'm listening to it just riding down the road i i have to literally crank it all the way up to be able to hear anything has no bass barely any trouble as it is and as you can see we got the new wheels on oh oh they look so fucking good they look so damn good so it says we can't go out and drive today we can't do anything like that we're just going to change these door speakers i went to best buy because i had oh i st still got to throw this away but you get it somewhere went to best buy and i had like a 50 dollars gift card so i went and bought these cheap pioneer six by five uh 300 watt mac what you see it whatever they are and uh supposedly these fit directly in there i don't have to do anything weird i got the connectors to go with it i just want something something i could don't have to crank the stereo up all the way it sounds like the speakers are about to blow when i'm driving down the street so what we're going to do today is we're going to put these in something simple something quick since we can't do anything else we're going to use the passenger side here as a test mule i haven't put any speakers in car since i was probably my second or first year in college when i was still putting subs in the back of my car don't ask me why i put subs in my car it made no sense it just sounded like the license plate was going to fall off uh i thought it was cool back then but times to change people grow up but the door speakers are right down here so we got to get all this off get it unconnected and then get to the door speakers phillips head flathead so it looks like we got a screw all the way up in here all the way back there we have these two screws one there one there looks like there's a pop right there and I'm probably just all held in with clips on the inside so three four screws and then got to be careful pulling it out because i don't want to break anything i ain't trying to put new ones in there i can't deal with that so we got the door off that was pretty quick pretty simple there is what one two three four one stuck in the door five what's that is this one no so i think five of these little pop socket maybe six including this one and you got two this is an ap2 so this is the tweeter speaker right there you got a connector right here connects right up there got to take that out and then the connector for the the window unit down here so it's only two connectors and then you get to the speaker you see the speaker right here yeah not that good of a speaker so that looks like it's either three or four one two three four and then three around here to get off so that should be quick So we got the speaker out, clip there, three screws, one, two, three, and then it comes right on out. If you want to take the whole shebang out, it's going to be four screws, but just took these three out. Hopefully that's all I got to use to put it back in there. As you can see down here, this is a 20 watt, and this is on the AP2. I don't know what it is on the AP1s. Uh, it's a 2005, you know, maybe the later years it came with better sound system, but this is a 20 watt. I think that might be max maybe rms but it's not a good speaker it's your standard stock speaker this car wasn't made to have the best stereo system so they probably didn't give two shits about making a nice stereo but we're gonna change that so as i showed you in the beginning of the video these are the pioneer tsg 650s um and these are and this is this is a uh honda speaker harness and this is pretty much standard for all the honda speakers i mean it's it says it's from 19 i think 90 hondas and up and it said it's going to fit this so hopefully it does this stuff is easy to find see this right here they had it at best buy they had plenty on hand this also plenty on hand but one thing i was looking for and one thing i want to show you real quick is i was trying to figure out how tall this is from here to here because there's a little insert in there that i don't want to take out and i don't want to ghetto rig it and make it look at all nasty as hell so i wanted to measure how high it was from top to bottom to make sure that the speakers i was buying fit and uh i think i found it online but i'm just going to show you guys via measurement so if you're looking for aftermarket speakers you got to make sure the depth on them is this is about two and a half inches tall 
and if you want to keep running that factory insert which I recommend you do you're gonna to need to find speakers that are uh, two and a half inches um, tall or less to fit it in there so hopefully these fit so we're actually in luck here as you can tell this is the aftermarket pioneer here and it actually is a little bit if you hold it like that it sits a little bit lower than this one so this will fit in there with the factory insert even with this little tweeter little thing on top if you look at it it's even with that on the top over here it's almost virtually the same size so i know this is going to fit so i'm going to be happy about it and if we look at the bottom here 40 so this is double this is a 40 watt ms 300 watt max this is only a, a 20 watt so even even if this is rms this is double so it's going to sound a lot better i can listen to all my rap music all my trap music when i'm driving down the road so we got so they mount up perfectly as you can see they sit perfectly they mount to in the holes perfectly you can use the ones that they supplied the screws they supplied i would recommend using the screws they supply because they're longer you see how let me pull one out here see how longer that screw is here is the stock screw so i would recommend using the longer screw fits in perfect stays in there same everything so let's get it all put together and uh hopefully it sounds good And just like that one side is done, fits in perfect, doesn't stick out, doesn't bulge, and of course clicks back, everything's fine. So these right here, I would re recommend without using this here, which you don't need it because you got to protect them when that comes on the car here. I would recommend buying the TSG 65 Pioneers. These are cheap. Um, for everything, including tax, I think I spent either 62 or $64, say 65 just to be safe. So for 65 bucks, you can really change the sound inside this car because, like I said, the stock speakers are absolutely terrible. So I'm going to get the other side done, and then I'll cut to what it sounds like. Let's put on some songs. Let's put on, let's put on Baby by Lil Baby featuring Da Baby. See what it sounds like. Sorry I didn't do a before clip, but trust me, it's the easiest, simple upgrade you can do to your car to make the sound better. I like riding with the top down, roof off, and uh, trust me, no matter what speakers you put in it, you're not going to get good sound when the roof's off. It's just, it's going to be muffled. So the stock speakers as they are, not that good with the top down. Hopefully these work a little bit better with the top down, but very simple fix. I recommend every single person doing it. It's a cheap, easy thing, quick thing you can do. But thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Peace.